Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Keel Dyken. So as you guys know, a couple of days ago, I introduced you to a brand new single board computer coming out called the Ratsa X2L. It is a brand new x86 based single board computer. Prices start at $39, goes up to about 69. And I know a lot of you were frustrated or really upset that the fact that you couldn't get your hands on one that was actually at that price or really couldn't even get one currently. However, there are a few other websites before I get into the main point of this video. I did see some websites, for example, on AliExpress. I believe they're based out of Israel. Now the price is a little bit higher. So for example, the base model, which typically costs uh, for the Ratsa X2L here, uh, if you get it through Allnet, uh, I think this is RAs and Ogdo, they start out at $39. However, if you order it through Israel, I believe the price starts out at about $89. Uh, that's not including uh, shipping handling. I do believe tax is available or tax is included in that. But aside from that, uh, one of the, a couple of commenters, you guys mentioned another single board computer coming out, something that Ratsa was working on. And so this is the brand new device that's coming out. This is called the Palm version, the Palm, Palm Shell Slim X2L. They are a partner uh, with Ratsa. I'm not exactly sure how they're working together, but they did design this brand new Palm size single board computer. Now, the beauty of this is, it's the exact same board. Now I do not have a price on this. The only thing that I do know besides the specs uh, that it is using the same CPU, four core, four thread, two gigahertz, 2.7 gigahertz. Uh, it's the same processor, the same connections, HDMI and so forth as the single board computer, the Ratsa X2L. Um, I don't have a price on it. However, I do know that it releases sometime at the end of February. And that's really all I know about the device. Now, the cool thing is you can still load up the same applications. It supports all the major distros. You have your uh, Debian, Windows, uh, uh, Ubuntu. You can also add that on there as well. But this is a cool uh, little device. And again, I don't know the price on it. I've been trying to find out more information, uh, but they will be shipping at the end or probably middle to end of February of 2024. But uh, yeah, I definitely want to give you guys a shout out. Thank you guys for mentioning this in the comment section. I've been trying to uh, do a little bit more research to this, reached out to the company to see if I can get some more information on it. But again, just a quick uh, overview. It has the J4 125 CPU. And if you guys go on Geekbench, uh, if you look Geekbench 6, the score range anywhere between the mid to high, uh, I want to say 400, somewhere around there, and then goes up to maybe about 500 or so. However, you can't really measure that by in terms of what it can do, but considering this is x86, and I do have other single board computers that are around that range, again, this same chip will emulate anything if you're into retro gaming, all your basic Atari stuff, all the way up to some and most PlayStation 2 games. Uh, you may have to do a little bit of tweaking on that, but it can handle that for $39. Now again, I don't know the cost of this particular unit, but that same chipset, that's pretty much what it is uh, running at. Uh, it has a 10 watt uh, power supply, four megabytes. You can see there it has your USB connections on there, two HDMI outs. Small form factor fits into the size of your pocket. You has your USB-C power adapter, which most of you will already uh, have available inside your house. And I believe this also comes with the mounting bracket as well. So most of these little mini PCs, uh, single board computers, uh, do come included with some type of mounting bracket. Now, I know most of you are who are really interested in single board computers. You're not looking for uh, something that has a mini PC interface, for example, most of the mini PCs now are about 127, but they don't have the GPIO pins and whatnot. But there are single board computers, and I do believe this does have uh, the GPIO pinner, uh, pin header, if you see it there, and it also has an M.2 slot. But this is pretty cool. In fact, uh, I, I'm really curious to know what the price is on this. It'd be interesting to see if this is only 20 or $30 more just for the case, because most of you are looking for the case for the uh, Ratsa X2L. I'll bring that back up here. So this is the unit just by itself with the fan and the heat sink, which is an additional $6. And then pretty much most of you were looking for the case. So if you guys could hold out probably towards the end of February, this is pretty much uh, a full sale set deal. 
Uh, I like the form factor. It looks really nice. You have a number of different uses here. You can see here you can put it directly in your pocket. It goes inside your laptop bag. Uh, easy to take anywhere. And then, of course, you have a host of distributions that will run on here as well. Uh, this will also give you better speed too if you are using Ubuntu or using Linux. Uh, you don't have to load it down with Windows because Windows has all those additional processes in the back. So it will give you an additional kick in speed if you do decide to load Linux on here. Has a Wi-Fi module, also Bluetooth is included as well. And I think the only difference for this unit is it looks like it's only in an eight gigabyte format. So typically there's uh, what, four, uh, two, four, eight, and in some cases maybe 16. However, with this particular model, it looks like they only decided to go with one memory variant, which is eight gigabytes. Uh, also, you have two USB 3.0s, two USB 2.0s. Of course, you can use the M.2 storage. It has a 3.5 millimeter jack on there as well. Uh, and again, the power supply isn't included. It's not a deal breaker. It's not a big deal. Most of your, if you already have a USB-C type connection, uh, like say for example, something you use to charge your uh, Samsung device or your GoPro device uh, for your batteries uh, or your Raspberry Pi 4 or your Raspberry Pi 5, or, your, or most of the single board computers, you guys, you have USB-C. Uh, it takes the same type of connection and the same type of power, so you guys will be fine there. The biggest difference is that it comes with the enclosure and, of course, an optional uh, VES amount. I really, really wish I knew the price on this because I would jump on this right away to find out. You know, if it's somewhere around maybe 50 bucks, I mean, holy crap, that would really be a great deal to get something like this. Uh, I haven't seen a board like this that has about, what? so this company is primarily marketing this to individuals who are in the office space using it for travel. You can use this for presentations. Obviously you could use this for retro gaming and of course you could use it for, you know, watching movies, things like that. That'll be all a pretty cool. You can also use this on an airplane too. Uh, a lot smaller than a laptop. I mean, this would be an optional thing to have if you're business. Uh, I know laptops, obviously it comes with the screen, but if you also have like a little mini display or something, uh, this would be a little bit more economical friendly than versus using your laptop. Again, we have one memory size here of eight gigabytes burst frequency. Uh, the base frequency is two gigahertz, goes all the way up to 2.7 with the Intel UHD Graphics 600 uh, processor. But for the price point, again, I'm probably going to guess this is somewhere around maybe 50, maybe $60. I'm really, really guessing there. But um, I do have to say this is going to be a really interesting year. Uh, for single board computers, as we all know, the Raspberry Pi 5 just came out. But these are some awesome competitors, especially for the price. And again, it was only two or three years ago where this particular chipset was valued at about $160. Now you can get them for about 40 bucks. I mean, that is a huge drop in price. And considering that all these are x86s, they're not Broadcom chips, they're not ARM uh, base. Uh, this is really great for the community because, you know, one of the things that the Pi community has always bragged about is having so much support. But they can't topple the fact that x86 have more native support uh, than anybody because most of the applications and stuff that you guys get is used on an x86 processor and is native to that, including a lot of ROMs, programs, and emulators and so forth. But uh, this is going to turn out to be a really good 2024. It's nice to see that we have many options right now in the community and that they're releasing things like this. I mean, Intel has really stepped up their game. Uh, they've really kept... Uh, customers first in terms of their products right now be also interesting to see if there are any other uh, companies coming out with some type of x86 based processor now uh, this isn't the most powerful processor within the intel chipset as you guys know i have my uea2 which is the n5095 and my other mini pc is a step up above that at the n95 but i feel that this is a great price and you're going to get your performance for those of you who are used to those raspberry pi prices of 30 to 35 dollars simple uh, easy hobby solutions. Uh, this isn't so much more of a tinker board. It, it does have its specific use, but if you are looking for a PC x86 that's fully compatible, fully powerful enough to do exactly what you need to do, then I, there really isn't nothing else I can offer within this price range. And, and honestly, too, I think this also made a lot of other single board computers obsolete. As you guys know, I have uh, a lot of the mini zeros and, um, like the Orange Pi 02W and then also my Raspberry Pi 
zero Raspberry Pi zero two W as well. And so besides the form factor, I know those have a specific use, but considering that my orange Pi zero two W cost me about $24 and this is only $39. So about $15 more, uh, you get something with a little bit more power. Again, everything equal, you know, not, putting it into the same size category. I think this is an excellent price for this type of processor uh, to get it for that roughly price. So again, guys, just wanted to give you the heads up. End of February, don't know a price. As soon as I find out a price on this, I'll put it up on my community tab and other social media. And I do have my Ratsa X2L coming here in the next few days. But uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I will have some additional updates for you in terms of some things we're doing with emulation as well as some other computer and tech reviews. So with that being said, I will catch you guys later. Y'all all have a great evening. Peace out.